My introduction with football was a little interesting because some of third grade I had open heart surgery. And one of the reasons why I wanted to play football was I was feeling that the surgery uh, was a handicap to me. And I was looking for something that would kind of prove to not only myself, but to other people that I could do something like this. With the uh, fourth choice in the 2006 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select the Brickishaw Ferguson, offensive tackle, University of Virginia. Coming into the league, at every level, I had to figure out, you know, how am I going to compete against these players? Yeah, I could have been quick, but I need power. I need strength, and that comes with size. So, so much of my focus was learning how to be a, a stronger player, and I think in so doing so, perhaps it allowed me um, some protection in other ways. You know, I'm so thankful to be a part of the Ring of Honor. I think, you know, a lot of times people might reflect on what it took for them to get to this point, but I think of all the, the people that have helped me get to this point, whether it be people in sports, out of sports, whether it be fans, whether it be family members, there's so many people that have supported me, and I think the fact that we can all share this moment together is something that I'm very thankful for. Jets fans, please welcome to the field the 20th member of the New York Jets Ring of Honor, number 60, DeBrickashaw Ferguson. <laughs> Joining DeBrickashaw at midfield are his children, Eden and Emery, his mom and dad, his brother Edwin Jr., and other family, friends, and former teammates. Also joining us are Ring of Honor members Wayne Krebet, Marty Lyons, Wesley Walker, Grant May, the grandson of Winston Hill, and Nick Mangold. The New York Jets Ring of Honor was established in 2010 to honor Jets greats, our history, every player who has ever worn a Jets jersey, and of course, you the fans. Every inductee will don a Jets Ring of Honor green blazer and a special ring inscribed with their number, years played, and the Ring of Honor logo. DeBrickashaw was drafted by the Jets in 2006 and spent all 10 of his NFL seasons here in New York, where the All-Pro left tackle played in and started 160 straight games, seven postseason games. He missed one snap in his NFL career. The only reason he missed that snap, it was a gadget play. Brick was also a three-time Pro Bowler. Jets fans, please welcome to the microphone. Number 60, DeBrickashaw Ferguson. This is such a surreal moment. This is such a surreal moment. You know, God is the greatest, you know, and he can do imaginably more than anything we ask or can imagine. Just look at this. Uh, I want to thank God first. I want to thank the Jets organization, uh, the Johnson family. I want to thank my mom and dad. I see my girls over here, my friends, teammates, uh, coaches, and certainly you, the fans. Um, when I think of what it took to get here, I recognize that I would not have made it without the help of others. Um, it, I'm aware of all the sacrifices that people have made so that I could be here before you. You know, playing the game of football 
it's hard to leave sometimes, but it's important for my ability to grow and to be the best version of myself. And so if I've learned anything from football is this. If I show up every day and do my best, that good things tend to happen. Thank you so much. All right, Brick, at this time, please take a look up at the 300-level facade behind you. Your name will be unveiled. The 20th member of our Ring of Honor, which will be displayed at every Jets home game at MetLife Stadium from this day forward. A special thanks to Webster Bank for presenting today's halftime. And let's hear it one more time. A congratulations for your newest Ring of Honor member, DeBrickashaw Ferguson. <laughs> 